investing in American properties from overseas. If that's something you're interested in, I want you to stay tuned. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. You guys are watching Holton Wise TV, and this is episode 408, and I'm working for my man, Phil. Phil, you are a real estate investor in Russia. You have reached out to us to help you build a real estate portfolio here in Cleveland, right? So, seeing as you're abroad, uh, you have a lot of general questions to go over, general strategies, and then, of course, we can get into the properties you've asked me to find and uh, find, locate, and analyze for multifamily properties, which is what I'm going to do for you, right? But before we even get into the properties like this one right here, I want to go over a couple things for you, right? Because where you're at with your business, you're at the very, very beginning stages. Uh, you are going to need and want to set up an ITIN, registering your LLC, getting an EIN for your LLC, and then getting a, an American bank account for said LLC, right? So the first thing you need to do, you need to contact a CPA and an attorney, right? Those are the two people that will be able to navigate these waters for you, right? Holton Wise, we are a licensed real estate broker, uh, licensed general contractor, we also own licensed title companies and insurance, uh, but we are not licensed CPAs and we are not licensed attorneys. So I would not be able to do uh, either of those things for you or help you out. However, what you'll do is the first step will be uh, first to make an LLC. Attorney can knock that out pretty simply. Uh, it's a one-person LLC. It's just you, so it's very, very simple. I mean, uh, you could actually file... LLCs yourself, uh, going to the Secretary of State website uh, for Ohio. Um, however, being as you're, you know, living abroad, I wouldn't try to navigate that by myself if I were you, right? You're probably not familiar with the whole process. So it's like 130 bucks or something like that. I don't know. We make LLCs all the time uh, for our businesses. But for you, I would say you just want to hire an attorney. It's one person, obviously. It's very simple. It's probably only going to run you like a G. Then after that, you could do a bank account and an EIN, very simple, uh, and then do the ITIN as well. So it, it won't be that hard. You just need to reach out to the right people, right? So they'll get you set up with that. Costs are going to be minimal. Your CPA and attorney do not need to be like local in Cleveland. That's irrelevant. But seeing as your business is going to be in the Cleveland market, which is in the state of Ohio, I would just recommend you make sure both your CPA and uh, your attorney are in Ohio doing Ohio type work. So that is that. As far as strategy and investment and the type of deals you want to do, right? This is one of four properties of a similar theme that I have identified for you. 3283 West 48th, Cleveland 44102. It's been on the market forever. 175 days and it's listed at 95,900. The fact that it's been on the market forever is the exact reason I targeted this property for you, Phil. I targeted this property for you specifically because it's got problems and you got problems, okay? So I need to combine the problems of this property with your problems, right? And the problem you have, the problem you're going to run into is you're not an attractive buyer, dude. Like, that's just it. It is what it is, man. You got to play the hand you're dealt, right? So I didn't want to target deals for you that a lot of other investors uh, were going to be interested in because I think the majority of the time the sellers are just going to go with people who are not you, bro. You're just not an attractive buyer. And the reason is uh, you're out of the country and you're trying to use financing, okay? If uh, most sellers, right, they're not familiar with, with how that process is going to work and it's going to scare them, right? So all things considered, the type of buyer that they want to see is going to be an American buyer who's cash and it's just simpler, it's quicker, it's easier for them, right? Uh, I believe it took something like two weeks for your payment uh, to get from your bank where you live uh, to us here 
in Cleveland to, to do these shows, right? And I'm not blaming you for that. And uh, I've worked with people out of the country many times. So it's not necessarily a problem for me. But yes, there is more legwork. There are more hurdles to jump through. And things are going to move much slower. That's just the nature of the beast, right? We might as well understand uh, the rules of the game and then adjust our strategy accordingly as opposed to just trying to put you against other buyers who are going to be more attractive to those sellers. So because of that, I wanted properties that other people are going to pick over. And this one is one that's being picked over by everybody because it's got a major problem, right? This is what the listing agent said about the property. Big opportunity, cow milking machine, <laughs> two units plus basement rented, fully occupied. This property has an additional beautiful lot of 50 by 200 feet. Taxes for the lot is only $130 per year. Uh, $130 per year. Please call and schedule your showing, right? All right, so this, this listing agent, right? The listing agent that listed this property for the seller. Uh, <laughs> cow milking machine, that's funny. <laughs> but, uh, people usually call them cash cows. So she was close. <laughs> but uh, basically, look, bro, this agent is presenting this as a triplex, and they think the fact that the the basement was rented uh, is a good is a good thing, right? The rent roll we got 650 coming in from one of the units, 600 from the other, and then 300 for that basement. Okay, so she thinks that this basement makes her property more attractive, and the basement apartment is why I target it for you, Phil, and it's also why it hasn't sold for 175 days because that basement apartment is not attractive in any way. That basement apartment is not a selling feature at all because this basement apartment that you're looking at right here is illegal as fuck, dude. That is the most fucking illegal fucking apartment there is, bro. And there is no reasonable way you're ever going to make that illegal apartment. So when you go to buy this property, what we would need to do is we'd need to take over the property and then we would need to work that tenant out. And then that's it, bro. You ain't ever going to have a triplex again. You ain't ever going to rent that. It is... Not approved by the city. It will never be approved by the city. You do not have two forms of egress, number one. Number two, you do not have uh, the legal size windows you need. And then number three, you do not have the appropriate ceiling height. Okay, so you will never be able to make this a legal apartment. Not to mention these properties in Cleveland, 100-year-old properties like this, they got the very porous uh, foundation walls, dude. I'm sure there's probably a shit ton of mold uh, behind all this drywall here, right? So if there is water issues, which I wouldn't be shocked if there were, that'd be something we'll figure out after the inspection. After we remove this dude, uh, we would then, of course, need to go in and just gut everything out of the basement. Typically, what you see in these houses is the basement's just always going to be a concrete, unfinished space. No wood, no drywall, no place that mold could grow, okay? That's what needs to happen, right? So you got to get rid of this third floor apartment. This third floor apartment is not your friend. This third floor apartment is a problem. And that problem, Phil, is why all the other investors, in my opinion, are picking over this thing. They're like, dude, screw this. I don't want to inherit this major problem uh, of some tenant living in my house completely illegally. I don't want to deal with that liability, right? It's just a hassle. Plus, it's a dude living in a basement. This dude is living in a Cleveland basement illegally for $300 a month. I am never met this guy, Phil, but I'm going to tell you something, bro. Just, uh, you know, reading the tea leaves here, dog. I'm going to guess it's not a high-quality individual, right? You only live in an illegal basement apartment <laughs> in Cleveland that's probably filled with mold if you can't live anywhere else. And you probably can't live anywhere else because you've made a series of horrible decisions in your life, okay? So, yeah, this motherfucker probably going to be an issue. That basement's going to be a fucking issue, right? But... Lenders, our investors are looking to work with you. Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com to be part of our referral network. Cool thing is, guy like you, Phil, the fact that you as a buyer are kind of an issue because most sellers are a little scared away uh, by out-of-country financing, right? People are scared of that. Uh, the cool thing is with this, a lot of buyers not banging on these sellers' doors. So, you know, they're going to be more apt to working with you. So with that said, Phil, 
the rent roll going forward after we remove that tenant will be 1250 or 15k a year of the 15k a year i anticipate spending almost half or a little bit more than half rather 7920 on average leaving you with an noi of almost half so 7080 as far as price goes all things considered, I think 95 is, is too much. But uh, if we can pick it up for you for 85, right, 85, that would be the right price. That makes it an 8.3 cap. Under traditional financing terms, you'd be looking at a $21,250 down payment, 63000 lent to you by the bank. It makes it an 18.2% cash-on-cash return. A couple things that could uh, adjust that cash-on-cash cash return are, number one, if there are water issues and we have to spend, you know, two, three grand completely gutting out the basement, right? That would be coming up in the near future. And then number two, uh, the terms of your loan. I, I think you said you were talking to some lender who may be able to give you a loan loan uh, where you are going in and you're putting down 40%, okay? So something like that. But that's that's the other thing too. Uh, I, I guess I kind of got ahead of myself there. In, in reality, what you're probably going to want to do is you're probably going to want to take your 100K, right, your cash, and we're probably just going to want to try to pick this up at 85K cash and then we would probably have to do that. We would have to refinance the money back out and get the loan I just mentioned after we remove the tenant, right? Because the bank, uh, I almost totally glossed over that. I mean, the bank is probably going to be like, hell no, we are not going to write a loan on this property. There's an illegal apartment in the basement. So, yeah, actually, we'll have to do the loan after the fact. So buy it cash for 85 k then work to get the illegal tenant and illegal apartment out of there, then refi it. They're not going to give you like an additional value, right? It's not going to like increase the value. So it's not like a burr type deal, but 85 should be what it appraises for. That's what you paid for. And then you'd be able to get those terms. Whether you're able to get those terms where it's 25% down or you got to pay a little bit more, you'll need to adjust your numbers accordingly, depending on what the lenders do, which by the way, I have lenders as well. So I'll send you my list of lenders uh, to see if they can't maybe do better than what the one you're talking to is the 40% down everyone else if you're interested in working with me in the same way phil is all you got to do is send your uh send us an email sales at holtonweiss.com give us your phone number send your phone number with that email address my team will give you a call talk to you about the process of getting started so you can get yourself a package of videos just like my man phil has done and phil i got three more opportunities for you if this basement is too much for you we're going to get into those right now Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.